Hey guys, so today I'm going to be answering some relationship questions. I love talking about relationships, my personal experiences, my own advice, and just helping you guys out in any way. Maybe you can relate or find some comfort in my own struggles, stories, or opinions. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in with Samantha's question, and hers is sex with an ex. Does it help? Do you recommend it? Does it work? What are your thoughts? So let's kind of tackle this overall. Now, number one, does it work? Now, I'm assuming you mean like, will it get your ex to stay with you or will it fix the relationship or maybe cause a breakup to, you know, be retracted and not happen? Um, I think unless, like, you know, your sexual togetherness was the issue of your relationship, I don't think that then having sex with your ex is going to fix anything, if that makes sense. Now, I found in most relationships, now I say most, not all, if it's ending or you guys have broken up, typically there's one person that maybe isn't as okay with the breakup and maybe one person is kind of wishing that you guys were still together. So I think with introducing sex, of course, you know, sex with someone you care about and love is a very intimate, you know, thoughtful feeling act. And I feel like doing that, of course, is going to give someone the wrong idea or the wrong thought, or at least kind of leave their mind open to the idea that maybe you guys could be something more or that there's something they could do or say or you know kind of convince you into being in a relationship again and if you know 100% that you do not want to be in a relationship with this person I think that adding sex back into it after you guys have broken up will cause things to get a little bit messy and that is I think when people's feelings get hurt because it's almost like a kind of like half in situation like you're kind of half together you're sleeping together but you're not romantically together but you've been together before so the person knows like what that feels like to actually be dating and be with you then only having the sexual aspect of that with someone that you did care about and you were connected with um, can just be really confusing and can just bring up a lot of unneeded drama and kind of feelings that probably aren't fair to put on someone else if you guys both aren't on the same page. But you know, having that said, if you guys just really enjoy each other physically and you'd like to keep that part open but not actually be romantically involved, I mean, do your thing, you know? I'm not here to judge anyone and I think it's just something that needs to kind of be discussed. But I understand the idea of it is, oh, let's meet up and it's all passionate and stuff. But you really have to realize that there are feelings involved and while you may be very sure about your own feelings, keep the other person in mind as well because this is someone that you loved and respected and you cared for as a partner, as an ex, and you just gotta be sure, you know, that they're feeling the same thing. The next question is from Kendra. Now this is a very interesting question. I actually love this question and I wanted to talk about this for so long. So she asks, is asking about an ex on a date wrong? Now my thoughts on this are so different from I think what a lot of people think. I have seen so many YouTube videos of people saying, the number one thing is never ask about an ex. Never ask, you know, a guy that you're newly dating what his ex is like. Never ask why they broke up. Never ask if he's still into her. Never ask if they still have contact, blah, 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 blah. And all of these videos are saying, like, this is the biggest dating advice. Like, you never want to bring the ex up. Or if someone brings up their ex, that's so terrible, that's so rude and offensive, blah, blah, blah. I just disagree with this so much. I honestly ask about the ex really early on in the stage of getting to know someone, dating someone, all that kind of stuff, because I wanna know. I am smart enough to know how people act and from experience, how things go down. If someone is very newly single, if they got dumped or if they did the breaking up, those are two very different scenarios and people tend to react differently depending on what side of the breakup they're on. I also think it's extremely important to know kind of what that person is now looking for. If they're open to a relationship or if they just want fun, they don't don't want a serious relationship anymore they've had that they've been through it they aren't ready for it again and I just think it's so helpful to actually know what happened with that person and their ex I think you can learn so much by just simply asking hey you know what happened with your past love or you know who broke your heart last or a question like that and I often do that to guys and I will say a lot of times they are caught off guard they think I'm kind of joking they're kind of like whoa like where'd that question come from I've never had a girl you know ask me that um, which I think, you know, whatever, I'm going to ask them that because it's something that tells a lot about them and it also will tell a lot about what you're about to go through with getting to know them. Number one, if they speak poorly about their ex, they trash talk her, you know, say all these mean things about her, 
that says a lot about a guy. I think someone that's going to disrespect and say rude things about someone they once were in a relationship with, someone they once cared and loved, I just think that's really trashy and that just looks really bad on him. I also think if the guy reacts in a way where they are unwilling to talk about it, that's also kind of a red flag because that might mean that there's still some stuff going on, there's still some kind of unresolved feelings. I think indifference and apathy show that there's no interest, there's no genuine desire to still be in that relationship. But if someone is really angry or just really mean or just really kind of cruel about an ex or whatever happened with them, a lot of times anger is just misconfused hurt and that could show that they definitely still have some feelings invested in that relationship and it's good for you to know because so many times have I been in the situation of dating a new guy and then, you know, two weeks into it or whatever, guess who pops up? The ex-girlfriend because that's how girls are. I think girls, even if you're the one that does the breaking up with a guy, you will admit that it stings a little bit to see your boyfriend with a new girl. Especially if he looks happy, they look like they're having a good time. You then start to kind of wonder, did I mess up? Did I lose out on someone? Should I make it work with him again? And it happens so, so often. And a lot of times guys don't realize it, I think. And I've had this conversation with guys when we've gone through this exact scenario and they're like, wow, you know, that really does make sense. You know, she's coming back because she sees that now someone else is interested and someone else is, you know, trying to be with me. And I've seen it kind of go down in a very similar way many times. Whereas if the, you know, two people have not fixed their fundamental problems of their relationship and they get back together, they're still going to have those problems. Most people break up for a reason, whether it be, you know, they weren't compatible for some, you know, personality reason or their parents didn't like their ex or they're moving across country or whatever the problem is, someone cheated, whatever it is, there was typically a reason and an issue and like I said if that's not fixed that's still there in the underlying foundation of relationships so like I said I strongly advise asking about the ex because it will tell you a lot about the person and it will give you a lot of really good useful information that you can use to kind of see where this relationship is heading if it was really recent if they are still involved with the ex if they're still in communication if they have a desire to be involved with them again um, and all that kind of stuff I think it's just something you should know and you'll save yourself a lot of heartbreak from from just kind of being upfront and honest. I also think it's really important to start off a relationship on a very upfront and honest foot because typically I want to be with a guy that can be asked a tough question and can come back and answer me with an honest answer and I think honestly that's really attractive. And on this topic as well, I definitely have exes that, you know, I think nicely of, I think fondly of, but I know I would never get back together with them. You know, I know it just didn't work with us. We grew apart. Things are different now. And I would feel totally like comfortable and open with telling that to someone else just so they could have the peace of mind to realize, you know, that's where I'm at. And that's something that they don't need to worry about or have in their mind. So definitely, in my opinion, asking about the ex is in your favor and is in your benefit. So you should definitely go ahead and do it. And the last question comes from Natalie. She says, any advice for dealing with unfaithful partners? You know, honestly, I feel for you if you are someone that has been in a scenario where you've been cheated on or you've caught someone cheating on you or something like that. I'm really sorry. That sucks, honestly. And it's so hurtful when someone that you cared and trusted can do that to you. You know, realizing that someone is capable of manipulating you and lying to you and just hurting you in such a dishonest way really sucks. And it really makes you question your judgment. And I want you to not question your judgment because I think it's so amazing and beautiful to be open and loving and trusting of people. Never become jaded. And this is something I have had to deal with. I've been cheated on in the past and it was awful. And I have to say, you know, growing up and moving forward and dealing with different guys and having people, you know, lie to me and just, you know, I don't know. I feel like girls always figure it out, you know, and just kind of going through those experiences have definitely made me more guarded. They've made me, you know, be careful of who I trust and who I open my heart to. But deep down, I know that the way that I want to live my life is being loving and open and trusting. And I want to be able to give someone my full trust and really realize that if they break it and do something terrible to me, that weighs on them every single night. And I know that it does. I know that when someone does something wrong to someone that was truly trying to be there for them and truly trying to be open and accepting of them, that hurts. You know, that honestly probably hurts them more than it hurts you if you think about it that way. And I know if you're going through it, 
right now it's hard to see it that way and it's hard to have sympathy for the other person but you have to know someone that is that cowardly and cannot just openly express their feelings to you they've got some other stuff going on because it's not right or normal to treat people that you care about if you're in a relationship or dating with such you know disrespect and just such an amount of dishonesty it's just wrong and, and as far as being unfaithful and cheating i think you just have to have open communication you have to talk about what you want what's okay what's not okay i definitely do not believe that people cheat on accident i don't believe it personally and i really think that you know if you're in a situation with a guy and you're thinking maybe you don't want to be together or you're not sure about it talk about it and decide that you're going to go on a break and you're going to see what it's like to be with other people and be without each other although i do think if your boyfriend is telling you every weekend that he wants to go on a break and then during the week he's with you back to the weekend on a break during the week with you that's a big red flag that he's playing you and he is taking advantage of the whole break scenario and i definitely would not allow yourself to get too far into that situation because deep down i think most people know what they want and if you're with someone Someone that doesn't know what they want and they don't know what they have and they don't value you then cut them loose and go ahead to you know open yourself up to being available to someone that will treat you better and will absolutely know what they have when they have it with you and they will know that they're not going to do anything to jeopardize that so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later bye